Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Jay Prakash. So in this video, we will see how to uh, control the boundary values of a query and uh, uh, and also we are uh, going to see how to control the number of mapper jobs that are getting executed. So within the same uh, scoop uh, job, we are going to control these parameters and try to execute uh, our scoop job. So let us see how to do that. So let us take the same query we have executed. So previously this is not there. So let me erase it up and tell you what it is. I'm gonna remove this. So this is our previous query. So what we have to do is we have to change the um, output file name orders um, control output it will be orders control output will be the um, output file name so minus m is a parameter that controls number of mapper jobs that get submitted so if you give minus 10 it is going to split the input file into 10 um, splits and uh, it is going to execute a map reduce program on each of these 10 splits so let us assume we are we need 10 and the other parameter is boundary query boundary query So select. So you can either select uh, the minimum value or maximum value. So um, your job will be executing from those uh, minimum values and maximum values of uh, the key. So let I need the minimum value is thousand, thousand one, and maximum value can be three thousand. So within this range. It is going to take the values from orders table and this is it so these two parameters are going to control your output so i want it to be in the text file format so that i just removed uh, my input file i mean the output file format parameter so let's submit it Cloud error is the default password. So let's closely look at the log, the MapReduce job that gets submitted. So here you go. Split size 199, number of splits is 10 between these two values so your minimum value is going to be 1001 and maximum value is 3000 so so this is how it's already you know considered as a query i'm very curious to see the bounding valves yes this is your bounding valves query select 1001 and 3000 from orders so the minimum value and maximum value is being changed from uh, one to that six triple eight one two uh, this thousand and one and three thousand so there will be ten splits each split will be equally uh, I mean uh, each of the split will be having equal number of records <coughs> from thousand and one to three thousand this is what you need to understand so on each of the split map reduce job will be executed and it will be creating 10 output files instead of 4 in the previous case so this is it so this is a single node cluster so all these mapper tasks and reducer tasks will be executing on one single data node but in your real time scenario you will be having n number of data nodes and each mapper task will execute on each of the data node so just imagine the parallelism you can just control your number of output mapper task so everything is going to happen in parallel in this case it is sequence because we do have only one data node in our vm if you want to try this you can um, 
create your multi node clusters in your Amazon Web Services. Uh, try to create some three or four clusters and uh, try to execute the same job. So you could see the performance or efficiency of this algorithm. So let's wait for another couple of minutes to complete this job and let's see the output you'll be have uh, you'll be seeing couple of changes one is like you'll be having 10 uh, files instead of 4 in the previous case by default it is 4 and you can see the records will be having values only from 1000 to 3000 instead of the entire records because your minimum value and maximum value have been changed it so let's wait hmm. So it is almost completed. Yes, it is completed. So let's move on and see our output file. Hands on. It's there and the big one or this control output. There are 10 files created from 0 to 9. Each is having same amount of KB values, you know, 8.4 or 8.3. And the other changes, the data value will be starting from thousand and one and let's see the last output that ends with three thousand you could see yep it will be ending with three thousand for sure yes so this is how you can control your output by using these two parameters bounding valves query and minus m so uh, also instead of minus m you can uh, give minus num mappers so both are same so thank you so much uh, guys and uh, we can see some other tutorial in our next video if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel with the hands on training please like share and uh, give some comments and if you really like please uh, subscribe so thank you so much and 